Right, greetings from Broadmeadow. I'm within, um, oh, probably about half a k of the Newcastle International Sports Ground. And we're looking right now at some of the finest produce that the Hunter Valley can provide to the uh, itinerant worker such as myself. I.e. we've got some Annie Penny and we've got ourselves a Derby pie. Now I'm going to, first off, I'm going to go for the, the pie. So let's just put a bit of sauce on the bugger. This is a Derby's pepper pie. So... Yeah, there you go, nice, nice looking pastry, looks, uh, looks, yeah, looks good, alright, let's go from for a bite. Um, yeah, pastry's a bit tough, I'm not getting much of a hint, hint of pepper at the moment, so I'm just going to go in for another bite, and hopefully I might get a bit more of that pepper hit that I want. Yeah. Oh yeah, there's a bit. As you can see, it's um not exactly uh, swimming in gravy, which isn't a bad thing. The meat pieces are not too badly sized, but um yeah, I'm 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 not saying I love it, but yeah, it's all right. You know, I'm gonna, I'm gonna do a bit more of pie eating, and then I'm gonna have a go at the. Uh, Penny penny goodness. Backs. Right, we're back now after having finished off that uh, Derby's pepper pie, and it wasn't a bad feed. I thought the meat was all right. The pastry was a little bit too hard, but I think that might have been down to the fact that it's uh, a bit late in the day, and I think maybe it wasn't perhaps as fresh as it uh, could have been. But anyway, now we're looking at the Henny Penny bag. Now, I would have probably preferred to have gone for something like the Paradise Pack or something along those lines, you know, where you get a few pieces of cook and maybe some chips and such like, but I thought for the purpose of this exercise we'll go the chicken and gravy schnitzel roll, and I tell you what, I'm going to have to go hands free off this, there you go, look, now, there's some nice schnitzel pieces there. There's plenty of gravy, in fact it's bloody swimming in the gear, which is not a bad thing, I'm a big fan of gravy. Henny Penny is one of my, uh, what's, what should I say, it's a cultural icon for me from when I was a kid. So anyway, we'll, um, we'll have this and hopefully it won't make too much of a mess and then I'll come back and give a final report on the, uh, the Hunter's Finest Takeaway Offerings. Right, I haven't uh, finished the whole Penny Penny chicken schnitzel and gravy roll, but I thought I'd just give you a bit of a look at it. Yep, yeah, as you can see, it's a it's a fairly um, ugly beast, but I tell you what, she's pretty tasty. I'm just going to go in for another bite. The bread roll is super soft. The uh, schnitzel's actually pretty bloody good that's a good schnitzel um, and the gravy's not bad either it certainly beats the crap out of say your KFC's and your your uh, Red Roosters so um, yeah look I'd, I'd rate this uh, Henny Penny chicken schnitzel and gravy roll up there with um, well it's certainly one of the finest uh, bits of uh, crap food <laughs> I've ever eaten but nah it's good stuff so Folks, do yourselves a favour, when you're in the Hunter, when you're in the Newey, get yourself a bit of Henny Penny goodness and a Derby pie, and I, I kid you not, you will not, you will not regret it. So, here we go. Signing off. Bye for now.